Hello world, it's your boy Jalen and Fit, and as promised, I said I would disseminate the information on how exactly protein, fiber, and water makes you feel full. Now I touched bases on water and fiber a little bit in the uh, Nutrition is King segments, but I wanted to expound a little bit more, but I'm not going to go into too great of a detail. I don't want to bore you guys. Not everybody is a physiology, chemistry enthusiast like myself, okay? So, before we get started, let me show you guys my meal. Look what I got. Six ounces of chicken breast, three ounces of yellow rice. Chicken breast is 240 calories. The rice is uh, 70 calories, so what's that? 340 minus 30, 310. Plus four ounces of kidney beans. The kidney beans are 90 calories, so that's 400 calories right here. I also have some yogurt. Oh, this is so important. So good for the gut health, guys. Only 120 calories. Focus. You guys see that airplane in the back? Okay. Now let's move over this way. 15 grams of protein. Six grams of fiber. Oh my God. This is very important for your gut health, guys. So that's 120 plus 400. That's 520. And then we also have some lettuce with some Italian dressing in it. And these letters are like 10 calories. So this is 530 calories. It may seem like a lot. It may seem like a little, depending on how much you eat normally. This is a lot to me. I'm going to be so full from this because it has protein, fiber. This lettuce has a lot of water in it. And also, agua. All right, so let's get into it. Now that i finished eating, it's time to share this information with you guys on how protein, water, and fiber make you feel fuller. So I touched bases on water in the last video. And basically, water, what it's going to do is, it's a substance, right? It's mass, right? It's liquid volume, but it's still mass. And it's going to um, take up space. And it's going to take up space in your stomach. Mind you, your stomach is a finite size organ. But it can distend because it has what's known as rugae in the stomach. It's almost like a crunched up rug. You know how a rug's crunched up and it's not smooth, but when you kind of smooth it out, when you step on it or when you stretch out the rug, it actually looks larger. That's exactly how the stomach works because the rugae is in it. So any type of food mass or liquid mass is going to stimulate that rugae to be stretched out. Once that rugae is stretched out, it's also going to stimulate what's known as mechanoreceptors. Those are stretch receptors. These stretch receptors send messages all the way up to the brain via the nervous system highway it's going to tell the brain an area specifically in the hypothalamus known as the ventral medial hypothalamus that I'm full that area is going to be saturated so that area is known as our satiety center now on the other end of the spectrum there's an area called the lateral hypothalamus and that lateral hypothalamus is opposite of the ventral medial hypothalamus that is known as our hunger sensor. How do we know these things? Well, because awesome, remarkable scientists have been able to isolate these areas, stimulate them with electrical probes, and based on the feedback, that's how they were able to incur what that area was. So, once they stimulate and isolate uh, the lateral hypothalamus, which is the hunger center, they notice that people can eat and eat and eat and eat and eat all day long without getting full. It's all psychological. You know, they can eat until they die possibly. And they know that when they stimulate the ventral medial hypothalamus, that people don't get hungry at all. So we have to hack our brain. And how do we do that? We have to be able to feed and saturate that ventral medial hypothalamus. So that's how water makes you feel fuller. It's gonna serve as bulk. That rugae is gonna stretch out, stimulate the stress receptors, mess up to the brain, saturate that ventral medial hypothalamus, make you feel full. Essentially, fiber and protein are, are gonna do the same thing, but the way they go about it is different, okay? We all take different paths for the same end goal. The path with water is pretty straightforward. Now the path with fiber, you've got all types of fiber. But the main two ones are the soluble fiber and the insoluble fiber. Now the soluble fiber 
is going to be able to be absorbed by water. And what that's going to do is it's going to slow gastric emptying. It's going to inhibit gastric emptying. It's going to serve as bulk, more bulk. So the whole process of digestion is going to be much slower. And that's a good thing. It's almost like uh, when a gym teacher gives kids another 15 minutes of playtime. It's like, yay, we got more time to play. That's how your eventual medial hypothalamus is going to be. Because if you inhibit gastric emptying or if you stop inhibit inhibition, gastric, the stomach emptying, release into the large intestines, into the rectum, etc., etc., you're allowing more time for those stress receptors to be stimulated. Therefore, there's more uptime of messages being sent to that ventral being hypothalamus that I'm full. That's how fiber works. Now, protein. Protein, protein, protein. I love protein, man. It's so important. But anyways, protein essentially is going to do the same thing, but it's going to take a slightly different path. Protein causes a surge and release of two hormones. And these hormones aren't really talked about that much, but they're important hormones. <clears throat> these hormones are released by the enteroendocrine, entero meaning uh, digestive tract, small intestine in particular, endocrine hormone cells, okay? And these hormones are known as PYY and glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1. And they both are going to do the same thing as the stress receptors do. So they're going to travel up to the brain via the nervous system highway. And they're going to tell that ventral media hypothalamus, yo, I'm full. I don't want any more to eat. Let's wrap it up. We don't need to eat anymore. Protein. It's amazing. Okay? So that's pretty much how it works. I hope I made this science very simple for you so you can understand it. These are all scientific facts. I don't make any of this stuff up, guys. I study a lot. Trust me, I study a lot. And I love it. And I want to share with you guys. I want to put it in the most basic way so that you can understand it. Okay? Because we have all the information we need. But what you put things into perspective and application, then things start working a little bit better. So I hope I've been able to disseminate this message in the most lamest terms. I hope I didn't bore you guys. I hope I kept it short and sweet. I'm five minutes in. Uh, this video is probably going to be like eight minutes. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. I'm going to provide more motivational videos, but I need to be giving you guys information. You know, a lot of these YouTubers want to vlog and uh, show them playing video games, stuff like that. That's cool. Don't get me wrong. I do. I like video games as well. Okay, I like TV. I'm not... I don't like TV, I like like Netflix and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm not um, just a sucker or a stone-faced individual. I'm a normal person, but I love information. I'm all about information, I'm all about demonstration, and I'm all about motivation. I got the perfect three. So I didn't forget about the motivation, didn't forget about the workouts, but we got to talk about this nutrition as well. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm out. Bicep flex. Boom. Peace.